In this video, we're going to cover the Visual Composer. Uh, in a nutshell, the Visual, the Visual Composer is a plugin that allows us to easily arrange and set up content on the page. Um, more specifically, you know, a complex layout. So if we look at this, we have an image up top, we have a title that's centered, we have some dividing lines, and now our contents column, we have this blue box frame. Um, before, before this, this would take a little bit of work to put together. But with the Visual Composer, we can just basically add our content, drag and drop it in place, and save. So let's go ahead and, and come to the back end. Um, here's the page that, that we're working with. Now I'm under the Pages section, and I just made a new page. You don't have to go anywhere special. It's just like making any other page. And I want to point out that you don't have to use the Visual Composer. If you just want to come in here and just type and add your content and your pictures and stuff, you can do that. However, if you want to get a little more fancy with your layouts and be a little you know, creative and add some elements, um, I, I recommend it. And what we want to do is click the button, Visual Composer, and we're going to get this section right here, and we want to start adding our content. So to do that, we're going to click Content Elements, and real quick, a disclaimer, the time of this video, these are the elements that we have to work with. The uh, your edition of this, your version of this may be different. You might have the same ones, you might have different ones, you might have more, you might have less. So I want to put that out there that things can and, and more than likely will change from now and, and, and until uh, later on. So first thing I want to do is do a text block and I personally prefer the text block because I, because I can do almost anything that I, you know, that I want to do as far as building out a layout. So first, let's uh, Let's work on setting up some columns. So we'll see we got these four columns. I'm gonna go ahead and do three this time. And once I got my text block in here, I'm gonna click the pencil, start editing. So the title goes here. Let's see, give this an H1 tag. Uh, actually, let's do H3, center it, paste in my text. That's probably a bit too much. Let's chop it down a bit. Save it. And then what I can do is actually set up my columns. And to do that, I click this little set of arrows over here. I'm going to click it until I find one three. One third. Right? Copy it. Copy it. Now I can come back in here and edit these as I want to, but obviously for the demo, I'm not going to do that. Let me go ahead and update this. And this is going to change this layout. This was a preset layout, but I pretty much wiped everything out. So this is what we have now. Here is the three columns that I just made. Now what we'll see, and I covered this part in another video, is this silly title that's up here, out of the way. If you want to get rid of that, there's a thing on this uh, in the back end called Hide Title. Over here on the right. I'm going to get rid of that. Bye-bye. See ya. Okay, so we got that. Now, I'm going to drop in a header, a banner. And once I click this, it's always going to put the newest elements at the bottom, so you have to look for it. But that's okay. Like I said before, we have drag and drop. Let's drag it up. At least I thought I was dragging it up, but apparently I'm crazy. Okay, click the pencil. Drop in my image. Now, when you add images to this, it's size specific, meaning it is not going to auto crop it for you. Like when you're making your blog post, and if your picture is too big, it sizes it perfect and nice and fits it in there. When you're working with this, it's all manual, just like working with a page. It is not going to size it for you. So be aware of that if you're dropping in images and stuff. All right, I'm going to grab the media library. I have a picture that I've already uploaded that's actually the perfect size at 1,000 pixels wide. I'm going to drop that in. And, and coincidentally, there's actually, uh, while I'm at it, there's an edit image feature where you can crop down your images. So if I click this, I can come in here and use the cropping setup and actually size it. So that's, that's something you, a, a tool you can take advantage of. So maybe you have a giant picture, it's too big, but you can't crop it. Well, you can do it, you know, you can do it here within WordPress. All right, I'm going to go ahead and insert this picture in here. There's my picture. Save it. Now what I have is an image, three columns.
And there we are. There's my picture. There's my three columns. Um, and basically, that is it. We can choose some of these things. We got separators. So I got this little separator. It's not going to have anything. There's nothing to edit. Just basically saying, hey, this is an element that's going to be a separator in there. Drag it up. That's now going to create some separation. I can duplicate this thing and then come down here below it. All right. I can add some more text. I'll do that by doing text block. Again, it brings everything to the bottom. Open this thing up. Drop in some text. Maybe add an image to it for fun. Let's, let's do this a nice little thumbnail floated left. How about that? Save, save, and refresh. So there we are. There's our, our banner image, our dividing line, our three columns, another dividing line. I know it's subtle, but we wanted to keep the design on like that. Here's a little image we floated left with some text. So basically, it's a great way to sit here and, you know, and build out content. So, you know, I can, we can do some other things in here. You know, for instance, this little message box is pretty fun. I click this little box here. I said, I thought so. And one more time, going crazy here. Drop in some text. This is great for maybe you want to make a point about something or, or, or make it something for people to actually to read or it's important. That's what this little message box does. See, there we go. Now, real quick, for any of you who may have noticed it or thought about it before, we do have short codes that work on our sites that do everything that you see in that Visual Composer. Maybe you want to go that route. And basically what that is, is you can come in here and do it, but it's just a little bit more manual, as in if I come in here and I want to add a button, like this. I can do that, but that, that, that thing is actually separate from that visual composer. So now I see that we have a button. This is separate. Um, we will work on adding these together. So at the time of this video, these are not working together. Um, but at some point, we will set that up. But for now, if that's confusing, this is a separate feature that's separate from the composer. As in the composer is a drag and drop ordering system. These are actual elements, actually elements. So if that if you're wondering why it's that, you know, it's that way, here I can just add a button or add a tooltip or something like that. Um, and that's that. I can't really order it or position it as with the composer, it's basically a positioning plugin for me to lay out uh, my content. I hope that, that makes sense. Alright, that'll do it.